Hello everyone! So, I was a hit with overwhelming nostalgia earlier as I was watching Chic Geek's channel and I saw her intro for the Finish 5 by Fall Project Pan. I used to be obsessed with those seasonal panning projects. I remember doing the first Finish by Fall, I believe, back in 2015? I think it was that long ago. I loved those seasonal projects. I did fall projects, I did uh, finish like Six by Christmas was one of my favorite ones, things that related to seasons I loved so much. And I especially loved them because they had very firm deadlines. I'm really bad when it comes to time management and I'm really bad when it comes to setting my own deadlines because they just seem arbitrary. But with these kind of projects, to finish five by fall, you have until fall to finish these. So in this case you have until September 22nd to finish. So I thought for nostalgia's sake because I I was feeling it so much that I thought I would do a little baby project pan and not take on too much. I considered doing like a classic project 10 pan. I thought about doing a few other projects and of course with me, I have a problem with moderation. In case you hadn't noticed from some of my previous videos and some of my previous panning endeavors, I tend to go hard and, and one of those things that I want to do is be able to do things a, a little a little lower key, uh, not so intense as I have been in the past. So I thought that I would do the five products. Actually, I picked six because why not break the rules from the beginning, but also just because a lot of these things are really close to being done. So I thought this gives, it gives me a really good opportunity to finish these products or just finally say goodbye to them if they are not going to work for me. So. All right, the first thing I have thrown in to my project Finish 5 by Fall is a little stick foundation from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's actually a contour. This is called uh, the Mink Stick Foundation from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's specifically listed as a contour. It's a very little one. It's a little baby one. I actually have a, a full-size contour stick from Anastasia, and I found this in my makeup box. I had been trying to do makeup basket roulette and kept getting derailed from that, and the box my cat, Cashmere, likes to sleep on top of so I can rarely get inside the box of it disturbing her. I try to be like super cool with this on and like it's like so covered in her fur, you know, cat lady life. But anyway, I, uh, I thought this would be definitely something that's doable, something that I can absolutely finish come September if I try to use it. Because I couldn't pick just one, I picked three concealers. All of these things came from that uh, that box, by the way. So I have the uh, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This is the full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer. I have the shade medium, in brackets, light medium. There's not a lot left in here at all. This was something I was using to mix with foundations. Where I'm so low on foundations right now, I really have just been kind of mixing together moisturizers and concealers and, and just trying to like, minimally cover things. I want to keep sort of the the good foundation stuff I have for, for on-camera use right now for, for photos because I don't feel like I need it in my everyday life. So I thought that I would throw that in here. So it's, there, there's very little product left in this thing. Um, I don't feel like it has a lot of use, but with a product like this, you don't need a lot of. I can't use it just as an under eye concealer because it is too dark for me and I didn't purchase it with the intention of using it as such. I did purchase it when I used the sample because I liked the way that it worked mixed with other things. So I don't use a ton of it. It would just be like a couple of drops mixed with something else. So I did feel like there wasn't a lot of product in here, which is why I did want to kind of make sure I had enough product in there. The Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is in Fair Neutral. I completely forgot I had this, to be honest. That's the problem when I put products in boxes. I forget what I have. So I was very excited to see this because I remember really enjoying this. Now, I haven't purchased the Naked Skin 
foundation for a long time. If anybody has been here for a while, you'll know I purchased that foundation like 11 times since it came out because I loved it so much. And I, I had a same sort of love affair with the concealer. And then I just, my skin changed and I didn't like the way that it looked anymore. So I think that I'll give this a shot. Um, it's really hard for me to tell how much product is actually left in here. It doesn't feel like a lot of product. Like I feel like there's probably maybe a dozen uses of this concealer left. So I feel like I compare that with the It Cosmetics one. And then finally, uh, the L'Oreal True Match, uh, Perfect Match Anti-Fatigue Illuminator. Basically, it's a illuminating concealer. It's one of those concealer pen sort of style things, which I figured I could use to even just sort of correct certain places uh, on my face that I feel like might need a little bit attention. Um, I don't feel like my skin has been so bad these days because I've been, you know, trying to focus on skincare a little bit more. I've been trying to, you know, even just use less product in general. So I've kind of been getting used to what my face looks like without like a full mask of foundation on. So I wanted to use this one up. I don't know if I said what the shade was. Let me look. It is Rose Porcelain uh, C1-2, that's what it says on there. So basically from these shades, you can tell that like I, I, my normal foundation shade um, in MAC is like an NW13, NW15. My Fenty shade is 170. I tend to be like the fair, cool toned foundations, if that helps at all. And the last two products, uh, so the first one is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue, which has made an appearance in so many of these different projects I've tried. And I feel like this is, this is the time, use it or lose it, because I've had it for so long and I didn't like it before and I'm probably not gonna like it now, but at least I can put a dent in it and also like let me save my beloved primer potion for a little bit. If I don't need to use it, let's finish this thing up because it's a glitter glue though, so this is the issue I have with it is that I find that it's very tacky and sticky, which is good for getting like the glitter to stick to your eyelid. However, I found that nothing blended well at all and nothing even really stuck compared to other products I would use like dedicated liquid sort of glues and um, mixing mediums and things that work well for adhering glitter to my face. So this is a use it or lose it kind of situation with this for sure. And the last product is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator, the Prime and Highlight in uh, C301 Ice. So this is supposed to be a multi-use liquid illuminator I tend to mix these things with uh, foundations and stuff as well. So I thought if I mixed a tiny little bit of it with a little bit of concealer, mixed it around, maybe have like a, create some sort of luminous glow, I'll end up falling in love with some sort of combination I come up with. This always happens when I do panning projects. I just end up falling in love with a combination and then uh, it, it lasts for the duration. I have the products and I can never replicate it ever again. And I probably wouldn't purchase a bunch of random products to try and recreate that. but. Um, I've been getting into more cream products and I feel like this is this is something that would work pretty well for me. There's still quite a bit left in here, but I feel like if I'm mixing it, so if it's like one part foundation or one part concealer and like two parts of the liquid illuminator, I feel like I'd be able to use a little bit more of it and really just emphasize more on like trying to even out my skin texture while still bringing a lot of glow to it. So I thought this would be a good variety of products somewhat. I know there's three concealers, so like not a whole lot of variety in that regard, but just because I can use them together and mix them with other products and other things that I already have and I have been using kind of regularly to move a couple of things out of my collection for good. So anyway, I just couldn't resist. Like I said, once I saw that video, when I saw uh, Chic Geek's video on her intro, I just was like struck. I was struck and I just needed to, to do this. It was just calling to me. So anyway, I highly encourage you to do something like this if you're interested in trying to pan something because again, a limited amount of products and a very strict deadline. So you are not committed to it long term. You can obviously give it up at any time if it doesn't work for you, but at least you know, definitely September 22nd is the game over. So for me, that excites me because I like having something 
uh, to look forward to like goal wise and that's why like i'm usually pretty aimless when i don't have goals or, or any sort of thing i'm working towards and that's why i think this will work very well for me so i put everything into this little box for now the uh home is where the heart is box anyway i'm just feeling i'm feeling very romantic and, and nostalgic for sort of some of these little panty projects and i thought that i would see how this goes so anyway let me know if you are doing this project or if you're interested in doing this project maybe we can start some sort of like community playlist again which is really fun when uh these sort of like little challenges were very popular and if you're like an og panner i would love to see you kind of try the little painting projects again. I know like a lot of us kind of drifted away from these sort of things, but it'd be really, really fun. Uh, maybe if we can, you know, bring it back a little bit. Oh, and don't feel like you have to just do it on YouTube. If you want to do it on Instagram or somewhere else, go for it, do it. And, and I would love to support you there as well. So anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I hope we get a chance to chat soon. Bye for now.